Well, hello. Uh, I found some 22 millimeters MDF. So what we're gonna do is gonna make a housing for a one meter long ribbon, uh, slightly bigger than the one I made before. And also I make two, although I don't have the metal for two, but that's easily fixed. Uh, yeah, and it's a two part CNC uh, router thingy job, which I really dislike because I tend to make some tiny mistakes here and there and this is potentially uh, a mistake hazard <laughs> So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna drill some packs here So I can relocate the piece of wood when I do part two at least that's uh, I did it before but every time it's like a hat breaker since I work in 2D I don't have a fancy program to translate a 3D model to something like this so I have to do it in my hat all the time uh, might not be the best way to do it but that's the way I do it um, for this first hole so I'm not gonna use the vacuum and I attach it after it's gonna make like a lot of dust so I made these from an uh, axle of uh, or a linear rail actually from a scanner an old scanner that I didn't use anymore or didn't work I don't know so I have four of those oh. and uh, with these I can uh, locate the wood hopefully so I need those oh and I hope I I so hope I didn't make a mistake because I had a weird day already. Lately, or lately, last two days, I was walking past my uh, room where I do a lot of construction thingies. And uh, I thought it smelled weird. So I was like, okay, I have to, um, you know, clean up the garbage can and uh, you know the, the the standard thingies but that wasn't the source it, it it stayed and it was a really nasty smell so I sniffed around the room and I finally found it and it was not looking nice <laughs> it was not looking mice <laughs> it was a mice but uh well, he was long, long time gone, I think. Uh, maggots and all. It smelled terrible. And this is the thing. Uh, I have a mouse every now and then. But my cat, uh, Puss, although she turned 12 yesterday and she's slightly overweight, she managed to uh, catch quite a lot. But the thing is that she just plays with it. And after a while they uh, hide somewhere and die which is really uh, well it's sad because they're injured usually because she's not well cats they're not really nice they don't play nice at all rather annoying uh, brutal I must say so he left them there to die I guess which is uh, nasty but yeah Puss was uh, had her birthday yesterday <laughs> 12 uh, yeah so I'm gonna do this re-zero I'm gonna re-zero on my table this time because I'm gonna drill in my table yes I will I hate this kind of I of course I only have one piece because I found it in a skip so if I fail it's uh, well <laughs> then the project stops Here we go. That's my new zero. <sighs> Attach the shoe. Uh, did I do everything correctly? 
Oh, here goes nothing. So they, these should be able to If I can find the correct hole, should be able to fit in here, although not not rather easy, I must say. But that's good, I mean, nice and toy. And they also should be able to fit in here. Perfect. So this is how I'm gonna relocate the piece of wood. Don't need them right now. Uh, I need a few screws here and there to hold it in place. These will go through my whole table, I think. Well, massive it's gonna be. It's on there, sure. This is the wrong bit, so I'm fucking this one up. So, now it's gonna do a pretty long milling thingy also at maximum depth so 22 millimeters of mdf in one go <laughs> i hope that works i could have done it in two pieces but uh, apparently i'm lazy and living on the edge well what will happen uh, it might be uh, costing me an end mill which is not so nice because the expensive end mill is in there um so let's fire it up and hopefully it works uh hello i'll restart the camera Well, that one, okay. At least. Uh, so, now I have to... I can unscrew these if I can get the... Shall I get the proper bit? That might be a better idea. Instead of fucking up this one. Uh, I might have... Oh, it's right here. I wanted to say I might have uh, left it at a friend's house, but it's sitting over here. So T15 and the next one will be T20. Mm. It is originally a T T20, I think, but might have. Uh... got our pins and we shove it in these holes we made at the start I have four that might be a bit too much two might do the job let's make it three because I have to align them in the, the other part as well which is gonna be hard with three Might need a rubber mullet, which is here, that's nice. So, these can go. Ow. No, 
that didn't hurt but so now I should be able to locate them and a lot of effort This is how you roll if you don't have a big CNC, but just a, a tiny one. And it works rather well. So here, the locating pins. I could add the last one as well, just for fun and giggles. to screw it in place somewhere might be a good idea maybe at the back this is how I fucked up my ribs multiple times drilling far away from your body and uh, and just put a lot of pressure in there and then snap because I broke my rib I think once or maybe multiple and every time if I do something stupid it ends up being fucked again so that's part one now I open part two And then it shoot like Oh, I do hope I have the means to use Question is do I have room on my reels? So this is where it starts so first it's gonna drill some holes and I'm gonna screw in some screws once more and then uh, the whole thing uh, goes ah who's this uh, mowing I'll do the hill of the holes first. This is really part two that I opened just to be sure. Part two. should be able to just pop off I think Ooh, these are rather stuck well that's one thing not bad so here's the overlaps so if I made the overlap a little bit bigger than I didn't have these tiny things here but overall that's how I do a bigger piece on a small machine but you can imagine if you would make two meter long ones that's no fun you have to do this three or maybe even four times which is no joy because I was scared I might 
fuck it up. I didn't, but you don't know. I do like the uh, the dust collector I have right now. Finally, after all those years, I was standing there three years in the next shed doing nothing. I did. Ha I had the hose. I had everything, but. You can hardly see where it overlapped. So here's the overlap. Here, I think. But, well, I could not do that any better by hand. And look what it does with the surface finish if you use one cut. So this is a 22 millimeter deep cut in one go with a nice good router bit. That's an edge I can live with. So I'm pretty pleased. And the last part it did when I was at the store. I don't recommend that at all, to be honest. Don't do that. I mean, if it goes completely wrong, well, I would be too late anyways. I mean, my cutter will break or something. Although I had once that I put in the depth of cut like times 10. That's not cool when you're seeing your yeah, well, spindle just plum plummets in and just uh, make a lot of heat, which causes uh, a fire, potentially. Yeah, I do have holes in my frame, I know, but my uh, wood was not wide enough to place those packs outside the frames. So this is what it is. Outside the dusty environment, am I zoomed in? Okay. Although it looks kind of, I don't know. Hmm. Well, um, so I, I left a sliver of wood to uh, be the front. This is only like one and a half millimeter, just to uh, not see the magnets. And there, I'm really pleased with the result. You can, here you can see uh, where it cut at the next part. Might need to send that away. Uh, and it's only because the overlap was not la uh, large enough. But overall, this uh, method works really well. Although it's so fiddly. Oh, it's not even, it's more of a uh, machine tool mark than anything else. <clears throat> so, here's uh, the ridge that the metal is gonna sit in. I only have two bars at the moment, too bad. They ran out of metal, <laughs> kind of weird. And I looked it up and now they had one. Of course I need two, so might take another look. I, I looked yesterday, so. So these will, well, hopefully sit in here. See if that's. Ah. Oh, nice. I'm happy about that. So I'm gonna add some glue to uh, glue this onto the wood because the magnets will pull it together. Uh, I as well gonna make a few blocks or maybe one is enough uh, in the center to uh, keep these from collapsing because they will because of the magnets. Uh, so I have to cut those but I can I can do that on a normal saw, I think. I don't need the CNC for that. And it's also gonna support the part where the ribbon 
because my ribbons are the Jonas Crut method, <laughs> I call it. So it is uh, actually a, two short ribbons that are folded so they become one long ribbon. But there will be a part that is not nice to have uh, emit music or whatever. So I have to support the ribbon anyways, so I can support it on those parts that are uh, not really nice to uh, put a signal through, or at least have it emit something. So this fits. Now, next question would be if the magnet is flush. At least for me, that's the next question. Maybe not for you, but... So, that's out of frame. So this is the metal, and then those magnets will sit like this. Ooh, and that feels rather good. Let's see it in the front. There's no spacing at all, it's flush, so that's good. Oh, what would I do without a CNC? I wouldn't be making anything. <laughs> a, CNC, a CNC apparently, because I made my my own. Um, so yeah, it should house like nine magnets on each side, so 18 in total. Then, this part here, this should be for a little bit more uh, stiffness. That's why I left these blocks here. And then here is gonna be the mounting block uh, for the ribbon itself. And also it's, it's gonna be the connection point. And I had some nice inserts that I never tried that I'm gonna screw in here. And if that doesn't work, I'll, it's gonna be a through hole thingy. Uh, I got some copper. PCB that's gonna be the connector. Yes, I know copper and aluminium is not the best uh, For a connection um, Because it might like erode the aluminium Or the copper, but it's just a try and I could like make a few at PCB GLC PCB and uh, make it gold plated for instance, so that would be the best of course But I mean for short term it will work definitely. It's not gonna be a problem. I've done it before and it, I didn't notice anything, but if you give it enough time, it probably will erode one of the two. Uh, then here, this track. Since the ribbon is going upwards, now it has to return back back home and then does the, the same thing a few times. So I need wires and I bought these ribbon cables used in Arduino and such. I wish I was able to get a thicker gauge, but I couldn't. So this is what I have. And also they only sell, sold one meters. So I bought two meters in the hope it would be one piece, but no, it's two times one meter, which is, <sighs> why can't, can't I just decide how long I want it? Because I need like 120 or something. So I have to use two. This is coming from a much wider ribbon, by the way, but I chose the same colors, would be nice. And then, that should be, uh, yeah, it should fit in here in the slot. Maybe some tape or something. And I believe you can make like, nice, you know, yeah, that works. Something like this. Do another one here, and then it will go to the PCB sitting here. It's gonna be tight fit though, but I chose, I think, uh, a rainbow. Um, yeah, so they're not even as long as the ribbon is. <laughs> Why is the camera not adjusting the light? I mean, it's completely overexposed. Can't you see? Come on. Way too bright. Stop doing that. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I need to make blocks. I need to make one block for in the middle and I need to do the coppery thing. I need to do the gluing. There's quite a lot to do actually. 
But let's first try these inserts, see if that works. Before I glue in anything and I'm just wondering if they work. So I bought a bag of these inserts. Not sure how big of a hole you need to drill for them. It might be a little bit undersized, so not too sure if that's gonna fit at all. And I need a hex to put them in. Nice. So this should be going in here, but I can assure you it won't. Or will it? Or I'm just tearing it apart, yes. I am. Fuck. So how big do you need to drill those? These are M5, probably like M6 or something. I didn't drill them M6, of course. Um, that's an M6 drill. I could try it. I'm scared that I might like drill through the whole thing and then it looks ugly. That works rather well. On the side of the wood, of course, it doesn't work well. Kinda knew that, but... I think it might be visible on the other side, unfortunately, but... I got no choice. <laughs> at this moment. Well, at least I didn't drill through, I think. No. So I can still screw it up, that's no problem. This is really the cheapest of the cheapest MDF, I can tell. It's like carton, but then maybe even not as strong as normal carton would be. I think it's gonna break out. Yeah, this is not not making sounds. Yeah, this is not gonna work. Oh fuck. So now it's like bulged up. Maybe I can glue in some nuts. I think that's my best bet. Get that beer out of the way. I'm just gonna add some cyan acrylate glue, which I could have done before to stiffen up the whole thing, but... Mm. Just a bit of light like that. Grab a bolt and just dump it in some really nice olive oil. Not too much. Thread it in without getting oil on the knot. So it's always funny if you if you say it like this, it's like I know what I'm doing, which is of course not the case. I'm just trying something here. I need something to push it in. Pound it in. It's like I don't own a hammer. Come on. Oh, 
Uh-oh. No. I'm gonna thread them in a little bit so it doesn't like uh, completely fill up with glue. That's another thing, theory thing, that I'm not sure if it works at all. Because these bolts are like fatty, it should not like and higher. So there's room for some thread. Okay. <clears throat> a longer M4 would be nicer to work with. So I don't like hit my fingers, which I probably will. So I'm gonna look up some longer M4. So I got something here. This will do as well. <laughs> Let's remove that stain with a paper out of the trash can. <laughs> and this time I'll just let it sit instead of using accelerator. I mean I'm in no hurry at all at the moment. For a change, that will be the first. It is a rather wide ribbon but still a ribbon. Uh, classic way of driven them as well. So they're slightly bigger than the long ribbon I made before. Those were 140, no, uh, 40, uh, 40 millimeters. Sorry, I work in SketchUp in one on 10 scale. So 14 millimeters wide. And this is gonna be 2.2 or something. So that's uh, quite a difference. And as a first try, I'll try to plot one. It might be too heavy and not useful at all. Maybe the top end will be crap or the efficiency is so low it's not usable. But before I am gonna etch one because etching one means that I have a kind of weird looking ribbon every 30 centimeters because I cannot etch such a long thing. And with the plotter I only have one of those in the middle and I have it could be even a longer ribbon, like 140 long, and only have one of those uh, weird spots. I made a test ribbon. This is a plot up ribbon. Oh, and it's got a bit mangled up. But here's the connection point. So it is folded, so it makes a weird turn. But it's rather heavy and stiff, so I don't want this part to be playing. So and this is where the support is gonna sit. And then I got much to spare. I mean, if I lay it out, well, much. You can see the ribbon is uh, maybe 30 centimeters too long if you put some tension on it, maybe even more. This one won't fit, I think, as well. This one is a little bit larger, yeah. I drop one trace to make it a uh, easier fit because I tend to make it uh, with high accuracy in mind, but such a floppy ribbon is not like complete high accuracy and it's almost impossible to fit it in properly. So I might even have to adjust the ribbon a few times to make it easier to install without losing too much in output. So I'll just wait and uh, maybe edit this video as a part one. I think I'll do that because uh, <sighs> I, I, it was stressful, I think, this CNC part. Thank God it worked out this time. See ya!